In this video, I'm going to show you a technique that I use frequently in order to generate student usernames and passwords. So you'll notice everything over here on the left is my raw data that I'm starting with, my first name, my last name, and the grade of the students. Over here, we've got their graduation year. Now this isn't static. I've actually calculated this by taking the graduation year that I know for 8th graders this year, which is 2016, I've added 8 to it, which is 24, and then I'm going to subtract what's in cell C2. And what this lets me do is, once I do autocomplete, and I drag down, it's automatically going to calculate the correct graduation year for each student in each grade. So that's the first technique that I like to use is just get all of the right graduation years. And this is going to come up later. Moving over to this first initial column, I'm using the left formula, and what I'm doing is I'm looking in cell A2, which is the first name, and I'm using the 1, which is saying just take the first from the left character. And when I autocomplete this, we're going to get the first initial of each student's name. Now moving over to the username, now we're starting to use this concatenate function. And what concatenate means is we're going to combine text. So let's check out what we're concatenating. We're combining cell D2, which is our grad year, cell E2, which is our first initial, and cell B2, which is our last name. Once I do that, I get a username that's pretty standard. And I can drag down and autocomplete it. Now you might have to watch out if you have, for example, maybe you have some twins that have the same first initial. Uh, you'll have to put a 2 at the end of a username or modify it in some other way. But generally speaking, by using the graduation year, the first initial, and the last name, you're going to get unique usernames that are predictable to you uh, and that are easy for the students to remember. Now I'm over here, and all I'm adding is a, a concatenation that adds the at csdo.org or whatever your student um, uh, student accounts are going to be at. And notice that for this, because I'm using plain text, I'm not referencing a cell, uh, I have to use quotes. Okay, so concatenate that, drag down, and now we've got all of our student email addresses that we've generated. Okay, now onto the passwords. So I, I like to use animal names for passwords, so I vary this depending on you know the age of the students and um, how, what kind of password I think they can handle but you'll notice that this is again using that concatenate function so I'm looking at cell K2 which is over here and it says otter the dollar sign just means that uh, the 2 is static so that it's not going to change as I drag down and then we're looking at D2 which is the graduation year okay so all of my eighth graders will be otters and they get that password. Here I'm referencing cell K3 and D3. So again, we're looking at their graduation year. And I'll just finish off by auto-completing the rest of those. Now there's one more step I'm going to want to do before I uh, take this list and maybe upload it to my Google Apps or uh, upload it to Renaissance Learning or anything else that I'm going to do, which is I'm going to want to take these and I'm going to copy them, and then I'm going to use paste special. And I want to do that because I want to cut out the formulas. I'm just going to paste the values. So now you notice up here, there's no more formulas. We've just converted this into plain text, and that's going to make it a lot easier when we go to upload it. I hope this helped you in your ability to create student usernames and passwords and that you like this technique.